And so, yeah, admittedly, you know, this title is a bit, uh, it puts a bit of spice in the title, but it's true. I actually hate this startup mindset. And so mainly I'm going to go through what really is a startup mindset and the ways that it actually disrupts people and prevents them from properly raising capital. And so, yeah, so to speak, I've actually been through the startup quote unquote mindsets several years back. And I see some of the problems that, you know, in some of the implications it puts on people uh, that are wrong. Um, you know, like the number one problem I see and I've been through, especially from people with the quote unquote startup mindset, mostly tech minded founders and so on, is that you have to sacrifice the cash flows of today for the product of tomorrow. And you may be able to build a billion dollar business doing that, but you can also build a billion dollar business by not doing that. And most people build their life around their business, but then they don't consider the advantages of building their business around their life. In other words, people romanticize the idea of perhaps making a lot of cash in the future, but not making any sale today and not living off any company today, not building any infrastructure and systems and plans, pragmatic sales and products and service for people to survive today. Because people typically have the, the idea that if you build something where you're making cash flow on day one, you know, you're automatically in a service business and you're not scalable, which is never, not true at all. Uh, it's actually the, an amazing way to validate a product before it goes to market without you having to depend on a venture capitalist to pump money into your company after you work five years working on raising, building the, comp building the products, raising capital, and then validating a pro pre-product prototype, uh, validating a prototype that may or may not get customers afterwards. And so the former is way better than the latter. So that's number one. Number two, um, the idea of the word startup, it just sounds like, you know, you just come from a place of begging because you're depending on only one thing. You're depending on an investor. Whereas if you build something where you can get cash flow, you can live comfortably on day one, you have the option to get investors who may or may not choose to participate. And you're not dividing your energy between selling to investors and selling to uh, your customers. Some people are really great at selling to investors and that's all they do. And that if you want to go that route, good for you. But many people make the mistake of dividing their efforts and doing both. I suggest once you already have cash flow, you're not too worried. You can deploy the resources to find that capital. And I think the best type of way to raise capital is for something that is already making money now, rather than something that may or may not make money later. What's really the easier sell? And then the third point is, um, you know, yeah, like zero sum games versus positive sum games. Uh, because, you know, many, especially in the tech sector, there's always a winner takes most market, but it doesn't have to be a winner takes most market. You can have a, you know, you can work in, the, especially when it comes to the services and things like that, consulting. There are a lot of types of products that, um, you know, actually improve the entire marketplace. And yeah, there's competition, there's always competition. But, you know, you don't have to only focus on the competition. You can actually build things that cause multiple parties to win and create new partnerships. As if you, you know, you have the mindset of, oh, you know, I must build it to scale or else I'll have competition. That's a scarcity mindset. And a scarcity mindset, mindset may be needed in some cases, but it generally, you know, that's not a mode by which I like to operate. And Ray, frankly, Raises.com likes to operate. And so what we typically do, you know, we don't really have that mindset. And, you know, the idea that somebody will, uh, I must dominate this market 100% or lose, is a, mark, is a scarcity mindset which can pervade everything else that you do. Those three things, you know, those are the reasons why I quote unquote hate the startup mindset. And, you know, if you forget about this startup mindset and you focus instead on building something that can generate you revenues on day one, uh, whereas you're not depending on investors, you're not begging people, you don't have this, you know, it's almost like you're a beggar. Um, having, brushing yourself off that idea and actually working on building something that can add value on day one, create customers on day one, so that you're generating revenue and it can scale easily. Uh, those are the best of two worlds because you're accepting the fact that yes, you know, you can first, number one, build something people want and not sacrifice the cash flows today for the uh, product of tomorrow. You don't have to do that. Two, 
Um, you don't have to depend on only one thing. Going to all these silly pitch events and all this, you don't have to do that. Three, understanding the markets are huge and you don't have to build something that uh, is only meant for one person. Uh, you're not a search engine, not everybody's a search engine. There are many different types of products that can coexist in the marketplace because there are a ton of problems. And so with this, you know, if you're one of these companies or you're looking to acquire one of these companies, head to raises.com to raise capital for those companies. And if you're the other type of company that doesn't have any revenue or anything like that, sorry, raises.com, you know, we probably can't help you. So with this, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.